Have you ever pondered over how Ryan Gosling, the captivating Canadian, embarked on his journey from being a child star on Disney's The Mickey Mouse Club to becoming a highly respected actor in the Hollywood industry? This common question intrigues many, so let's attempt to untangle this captivating narrative. Gosling first graced this world on a cold day in November 1980 in the beautiful city of London, Ontario, Canada. In a place known for its tranquility, a star was born who would soon take the entertainment world by storm. The first milestone in Gosling's illustrious journey came when he stepped into the limelight at the impressionable age of 12. He joined the illustrious ranks of promising future talent on Disney's The Mickey Mouse Club, sharing the platform with contemporaries like Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. This was a formative period in his life where he first tasted the intoxicating elixir of fame and applause, subtly preparing him for the bigger stages that awaited him. Despite his early taste of fame, his rise in the industry was gradual. Nevertheless, his compelling performances managed to leave an indelible imprint in the minds of viewers. His big break came when he assumed the role of a Jewish neo-Nazi in the controversial 2001 film The Believer. His portrayal was daring, audacious, and fearlessly genuine. This was the moment when the world stopped, looked, and truly recognized his unique talent. It was a turning point in his career where he transcended from being just another child star to an actor who could hold his own in the fiercely competitive world of Hollywood. Thus, this was how the charismatic Ryan Gosling made his transition from a child star to becoming a renowned actor. However, it wasn't until his role in the 2001 film The Believer, where he bravely portrayed a Jewish neo-Nazi, that the world sat up and took notice of his extraordinary talent. The year 2004 marked a pivotal point in Gosling's career. His portrayal of Noah Calhoun in the wildly popular romantic drama The Notebook catapulted him into the limelight, solidifying his status as a Hollywood heartthrob. Gosling continued to prove his mettle as a versatile actor, taking on a wide array of roles in both independent and mainstream films. His performance as a troubled school teacher in Half Nelson in 2006 earned him his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. He continued to wow audiences and critics alike with his performances in films like Blue Valentine in 2010, Drive, and The Ides of March both in 2011. A significant milestone in Gosling's career came with the 2016 film La La Land. His portrayal of a passionate jazz musician not only earned him his second Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, but also contributed to the film's enormous success, which bagged six Academy Awards, including Best Director for Damien Chazelle. Away from the silver screen, Gosling's talents extend to music. In 2007, he formed the indie rock band Dead Man's Bones, releasing a self-titled album two years later. As a singer and musician, Gosling further showcased his multifaceted artistic abilities. Today, Gosling stands as one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors, known for his unwavering dedication to his roles and his ability to bring diverse characters to life with authenticity and depth. His blend of natural charisma, talent, and commitment to his craft has firmly established him as a leading figure in contemporary cinema. In summary, Gosling's career is a testament to his versatility, courage, and intense dedication. From a child actor to a Hollywood heavyweight, he has left an indelible mark on cinema, captivating audiences worldwide with his compelling performances. He recently appeared in the movie called Barbie, and he said about his role, it was like a high-wire act in tiny shorts and no shirt with no net. Barbie's Ryan Gosling says Ken was the hardest role of his career so far. Ryan Gosling, a true star, continues to shine brightly in the firmament of world cinema.